se retrouve aujourd'hui pour l'épisode 4 de Life is Strange intitulé Dark Room. On avait, durant ces deux derniers jours, on a fait les épisodes 2 et 3 et je viens aujourd'hui autour de l'épisode 4 Dark Room. Donc sans plus tarder, attardons-nous dessus. Comme d'habitude, je vais prendre toutes les photos optionnel grâce à un guide que j'ai pu choper sur internet et qui me permet d'avoir tout afin de ne pas avoir à revenir dessus. Hello. Est-ce que c'est bien configuré C'est bon. Cool. Previously on Life is Strange. Wow. Miss Coffee, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Salut, Yann Asso. Salut, Yann Asso. Je suis heureux de vous rencontrer de nouveau. Je sais. Je suis heureux que nous sommes, mais... 
It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. <laughs> it's so Max. It's so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? I never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Black World. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure look... It's nice my parents sent a card at least. who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. At least, Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. <clears throat> Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was